The Art of Regifting. When presents get a second chance. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an interesting and practical aspect of English culture. The phrase, to regift. It's something that you might have done yourself or heard about during the holiday season or after a birthday bash. By the end of this video, you'll understand not just what it means but also how it fits into social norms. So, if you've ever received a gift that wasn't quite right for you, keep watching to find out what you can do with it. The term, to re-gift, refers to the act of taking a gift that you have received and giving it to someone else as a gift. It's like recycling, but instead of paper and plastic, it's presents. The reasons for re-gifting can vary from not needing the item, having a duplicate, to believing someone else might appreciate it more. Regifting is often seen as a way to pass on kindness while also being resourceful. When it comes to regifting, there are a few social rules that should be followed to avoid any faux pas. Here's a quick rundown. Do consider the recipient. Make sure the gift is appropriate and thoughtful for the person receiving it. Check condition. The item should be in new or excellent condition. Remove old wrapping. Always rewrap the gift in fresh paper. Be mindful of the original giver. Avoid re-gifting within the same social circles where the original giver might find out. Don't re-gift meaningful or personalized items. This can be seen as insensitive. Regift used items, if it's clearly been used, it's not a good candidate for regifting. Forget to take out any cards or notes that were given to you with the gift. Understanding regifting etiquette can help avoid any potential embarrassment. It's important to be honest with yourself about whether the item is genuinely regiftable. And if you get caught, a good approach is to be open about your reasons. Ensuring that you thought the item would be perfect for the other person and that it's not a reflection of your feelings towards them or the original giver. Regifting makes the most sense for items that are brand new and universally appealing like books, unopened bottles of wine, or gift cards. It's also widely acceptable when the gift is something that you know the new recipient has been wanting. Regifting is all about being considerate. Making sure that the gift is something that aligns with the interests and tastes of the new recipient, just as you would with any other gift. And that wraps up our guide to regifting. Remember, it's a common practice and nothing to be ashamed of, as long as it's done thoughtfully and tactfully. We hope this video helps shed light on the subject and makes you feel more comfortable with the idea of passing on gifts that you can't use. Until our next video, happy learning and happy regifting. Goodbye for now.